as many people said, in Payday 2, shotgun is like a dog shit compared to other guns. Well, there's a reason for it. Nerfed. However, the only thing that's got butchered by overkill is shotgun range. It used to be a joke when comparing to sniper rifle. With a single shotgun, you can somehow shoot enemies, even snipers in a far distance. So there's no doubt it's got nerfed. But did this mean that shotgun is totally shit like I've said? Well, no. They are still the same. Same damage, same stats, everything except the range. I've been using shotguns in Payday 2 for a long time and I'm quite satisfying what I can do of a being nerfed. It's a shame that not many people prefer it. And I'm pretty sure that not many shotgun build videos out there in YouTube. That's why I make this video. 5 of my favorite shotgun builds for the SOD. So let's get started. Trust me, before you say anything, I promise you that this build is totally not a joke. You might find this build is kind of familiar. Well, yes, it got inspired by Olafi build. Everything about two double barrel shotguns has been explained by him, so I'll put the link of this video in the description, and I'll say that it's really worth watching. And uh, well, the difference between my build and his is that I use the HE rounds or even Dragon Breath rounds for the clear shotgun. It will handle the shields, winters, and even destroy the bulldozer faceplate, so you won't waste any ammo for it. It also helps you maintain your primary ammo. Inspire Ace and Night Lives is also included here, which is more useful for you in the SOD, especially when using Rogue. And in my own experience, I would say that Rogue is totally fitting for Punk Shotgun. I don't know why, but after seeing how it's running around, dodging to a shot in a round, and watching the dozer and the seals up to figure out. Oh, you got it. 
Shotgun Strategy Shotgun is considered one of the most underrated shotgun in the game. It's kinda ironic that both Stickout and Ismail is almost the same, except that Stickout is not paid to players' favorite weapon. Due to its lack of equipment, less consumers, and most importantly, you can't use the drum max for free spill, unless if you use a scene strike. Well, does it mean that Stickout is bad for the SOD? Nope, it's totally viable for the SOD. Once you use Berserker skills, this shotgun will land 2 shots on Zeus if you manage to headshot them, and 1 shot 1 kill if Crit is activated. And once Crit is activated, specials and dozers will be eliminated at ease. And one more thing, you might notice that it uses surefire A skills for this build, which is mostly used in AR or SMG builds. This is something that people tend to forget or didn't notice. Surefire skills will definitely work for shotgun as long as they are in auto fire mode. This is really helpful for Anarchist bug deck since it requires you to damage the enemy for armor regen. I don't have to say much about this build because this is OP as fuck. From the weapons, skill sets to the bug deck. For a long time, Akimbo Goliath always still in the S tier, despite being nerfed in the range like his shotgun brothers. It has good able pickup, high damage, and decent reload speed. This is like an upgrade version of Akimbo Brother Dream. I even got clutched a lot of time in the SOD, so I guarantee that this build is a monster if it's in the right hand. Without being how good it is in the SOD, you might find struggling with this weapon in some situation, especially when clicking your mouse. Sometimes your shot won't follow your finger, and it's getting worse if your PC is for potato smashing. Luckily, there's a mod that fixes bug, and not only this gun, but also every single fire weapon. The mod is in the description, so you should check it out. Run! Instantly! 
We got the buck shot, the flash hat, so when I'm using the tombstone. The tombstone slug is considered one of the most overpowered shotgun rounds. It's got old dragon breath range, the damage over time, and of course, unlike dragon breath, this rounds will work with grinder. Explain why I use this buckle for sure. And if you watch my montage, you'll see that the damage over time of tombstone will stack the grinder healing ability, which means more health each shot you deal for the enemy. Pretty cool. However, the only thing that I don't really like about Tombstone Slug is that its damage over time won't work with the overkill skills, unlike the Dragon Breath. Well, you win some, you lose some. This is for balancing the game. The Brother Grim will be your primary since this gun has a fastest fire rate, and it's good for spamming. Just keep sending the bullets to the cop, and the health will be regen in the level of the flash. The secondary will be the AMR 16, with the AMR kit which we mainly use for bulldozers and snipers only. Now! 
The last one is kinda special. If I made this, I'm pretty sure that most people will laugh at this for sure. But look at the bright side. A single charge shotgun is good enough to one shot one kill a heavy zero. So why not bring two charge? Two charge we eliminated the whole heist in an instant. Even something that's too powerful like the mini dozers and the turrets. I know that the charge will eat all your ammo. So ammo pack skills are really neat for this. And the really storm ace is really handy for a bug deck like Lich. Low ammo, use the ammo pack, 50 second unlimited ammo, use the Lich and spamming ammo for health regen in stylish way. Not to mention that the Lich allows you to be invisible for 10 seconds. This is something I always want to do to make sure that my team can do objectives while not worrying about the nearby enemies since they got a killing machine on the team. Oh yeah, you may switch the Lich bug deck to the Kingpin if you like to. Woohoo!